Hi guys, welcome back to Wildebeard Reviews. Tonight we're going to talk about Thor issue 11, written by Donny Cates with art by Nick Klein. This continues the saga of Donald Blake coming back with a vengeance. He is pissed at just about everyone, everyone that has ever been a Thor, Thor himself and Odin, and pretty much all of Asgard because he feels he has been wronged, and I'm not sure he's entirely wrong about that. So in this issue, we pick up where we left off uh, last issue where Donald Blake goes to see Jane Foster and in this one they have a very tense lunch date together just trying to catch up and it is very very tense like I said because we know why Donald Blake is there and he also finds out some pretty shocking information to him over the course of this issue and it's very interesting to see it play out. We also get to catch up with where our uh, Asgardians are and we also see where or what Thor is dealing with in that kind of no space that that um, Donald Blake was held in for so many years. And then there is a surprise at the very end that I did not see coming, but it is pretty wild. Let's go ahead here and jump into the pages. Guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel and you like what we do here and everything that we talk about here, comics and whatnot, do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button. All right, so we open up here with Donald Blake eating a steak so like I said they're at a, uh, at a kind of a lunch date having a fancy uh, dinner and so this uh, panel progression here reminds me of a couple different things uh, first off like it just you know it being a steak reminds me of that scene from the first Matrix movie when uh, Cypher Joe Pantoliano's character is having uh, dinner with the agent making the deal to reinsert him back into the Matrix um, but also kind of more sinisterly it reminds me of the opening credits for um, the TV show Dexter where he's making breakfast and you see him using his knife and fork to like cut through the ham steak and the eggs and everything like that. There's definitely a, a sinister element here. I like the way that, that Nick Klein's art focuses on the uh, the mouth there you can just tell there's something behind that grin and then especially right here holding that steak knife with purpose very much like like a surgeon or something I just I love just the the undertone that we get just right out of the gate in this in this first page so he says here I must tell you I haven't been uh, this good felt this good in a very long time it's really hard to describe like every nerve in my body is on fire like every cell and atom is exploding everything every fiber of my being reawakening and yet I've been awake for years God listen to me rambling on please Jane tell me uh, it's been so long since I've seen you so I'm guessing he's talking about actually being in a real body again versus being in that like weird no space um, that he was trapped in I think was um, stored in Yggdrasil if I remember uh, correctly just you know actually being out there um, again he says what's new with you tell me everything and so uh, she says here Donald you uh, seem I don't know different than you have in the past did something happen with your you know the, the change uh, I mean I'm so happy to see you but last time I saw you I mean him meaning Thor he was heading off to be king and now I don't know and Donald says yeah I don't think the crown fit the way he expected it to I suppose that's why I'm here showing up out of nowhere and acting like a complete loon and she uh, tries to comfort him and then I love this panel right here with the, the coffee cup and the steam coming off it showing those almost like reptilian hunter's eyes you know he's there um maybe on a scouting mission maybe he really is just wanting to reconnect with um, Jane Foster before he goes on a Thor killing spree but there's definitely some some sinisterness going on he says here I admit it's been an unusually challenging transition in the past Thor and I have uh, shared a link between us he, his thoughts are mine and his uh, like two beings in one uh, but this time there are holes in my memory like I'm starting from scratch trying to assemble a blank puzzle and Thor his voice his thoughts he seems so far away I fear I, I fear he has gone somewhere I cannot follow and there we go we catch up with Thor in that no space he's crying out for anyone anyone to hear him uh, I'm sure this mirrors something that Donald Blake himself went through um, kind of that anger uh, uh, stage of the the, yeah, the, the five uh, stages of grief once he finally figured out where he was and then that's when Thor runs into this character Rata Tuskir I've, I'm probably butchering that pronunciation but he is a chaos god I don't know if he's actually part of Norse mythology I meant to look that up before I started filming but I forgot my apologies 
apologies. And he says here, I'm a chaos god, Thor. You think I would miss the reign of a thunder king? It's been such a delight to watch, honestly. Best time I've had in ages. And Thor says, you have to help me. You have to help me get word through Yggdrasil to my people. Tell them what has happened to me. And he says, oh, I'm afraid not, not Thor. You see, there is no one to get word to. Not up there, at least Asgard is empty and that's right donald um th uh, threw them all out transported them to this plane down here i think it's called uh, dimension blood which is just such a cool name uh and so we have uh, some funny moments here just to kind of break the tension a little bit apparently they set out a feast for uh thor's friends because apparently thor was there before and and helped them out volstag of course is you know throwing down on whatever food is put before him uh he doesn't even know what he's eating he says here is there any more of this leg piece or 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 is this a thought he doesn't care he's just throwing it down uh lady sif is you know uh lady sif she says this is insane and walks away and then we go see um she walks off to go see beta ray bill who is recuperating a little bit but he has a plan to teleport them out of there apparently he is warbound to lockjaw which is the big teleporting dog from over on the inhumans side of the marvel universe uh, that's a character set i'm not terribly familiar with but i am 95 percent sure that lockjaw is the, the teleporting big dog from uh from that character set so that's his plan however lockjaw has left he um, Thori here, the dog is just like Volstag, nomming on the foods that they give him. He says, Lockjaw, say friend in trouble. He smell death coming. Uh, old friend, warbound uh, Lockjaw, leave hours and leave hours ago. He told Thori to tell you, but Thori forgot. So yeah, Lockjaw left, and we see him at the very end of this issue because he smelled death, and an old friend was in trouble. Which uh, once we get there, kind of plays into the whole thing where I think Donald Blake is going, where he is killing all of the different people that have held the power of Thor before. So we'll um, we'll catch up with Lockjaw at the very end of this issue. First, we're going to go back here to uh, Donald and Jane. Apparently, uh, Jane has become uh, a morgue assistant since she was Thor, which uh, Donald Blake is going to find out here in a minute. And uh, Donald is is asking her about it, and she says, I know it's not ideal, but after everything that happened, I'm okay with it, actually. It's fulfilling work, you know, to be the last person to guide them home. I know it sounds morbid, but it, it feels right. To which he says, um, I suppose I've, I've missed quite a lot. I admit that's why I came to see you. I guess I needed a friendly face. And Jane says, how long? Uh, I mean, how long? this happen how long have you been back and he says before i came to you not long uh, i spent some time bouncing around getting my feet wet here and there so to speak visiting some old friends which reminds me and this is probably the real underlying reason he wanted to see jane probably still wanted to catch up kind of the surface level ones but he really wanted to know where odin and he says you wouldn't have to know where odin is these days i've been asking around and no one seems to know that's when Jane drops the bomb on him. He, she says, I, I don't know. We aren't exactly on the best terms. We never really got along when I was Thor, and I don't think the old man is. And that's when Donald Blake, you see his eye. I love this panel so much. This There's so much in this artwork right here from Nick Klein. It's amazing. So obviously it's a huge true it's a huge moment for him to find out that Jane was Thor. And if he really has a plan to go out there and kill anyone that has been Thor or um, anyone that is associated with what he has been through like Odin, then that obviously includes Jane Foster, but he was not planning on doing that. You can see the surprise and the rage and the concern in just this one little panel right here and you can see um the reaction there from jane like you didn't know that i was thor for a little bit i just i love this panel right here is just it's so so good and then what happens here is kind of an in the head moment it's great to see it play out he flips out stabs her through um the hand with um with his steak knife and then this panel or this page double page here is absolutely amazing he screams no more rips the spirit or the essence of thor out of jane foster amazing amazing artwork unfortunately it doesn't really actually happen it's all in 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 a um 
in Blake's head, but still, the artwork is absolutely incredible. And then he just kind of, uh, you know, snaps out of here. Uh, Jane says, hey, are you okay? What's wrong? He's, he makes an excuse quickly and leaves and says, um, you've always been good to me, Jane. You loved me once. Not him. Me, meaning you loved me, Donald Blake, not Thor. And as he walks away, he says, you don't belong in a morgue. So he has made, um, you know, he, he's let, let her alone. He's not going to kill her, even though she was Thor, because she w was always good to him. Uh, from there, she goes to um, the morgue where she works, and the the next patient that they have is Roger Red Norville, who used to be Thor. Um, uh, and that's and then we see uh, Jane freak out here, and so it's very clear to me, at least, that Donald Blake is going around trying to kill all of the inhabitants of Thor. Now, like I've said a few times before, I'm not the most uh, knowledgeable in the Thor in the history of Thor in Marvel Comics, so I'm not uh, familiar with Roger. Red Norval. I don't know who that character is. Um, you guys are going to have to fill me in on that uh, down in the comments. But just the fact that he was a Thor and the, uh, the, the head mortician here, I guess, is who that is, does enough to, to fill us in on the fact that he was a Thor. So we, the audience, have kind of a clue as to who he is, even if we're not deeply familiar with um, uh, the history of the Thor character. Jane runs into the bathroom and says, he wouldn't, it's not him, it's not, come on, get it together, that's insane, Donald Blake is fine, but you can see this visage, this icon of death floating over her. I don't know, again, if that has a deeper meaning uh, within uh, the Thor universe, you guys are going to have to clue me in on that, but just seeing that, like, ball of death hang over her, you know uh, that things are, are going badly. Uh, from there, we jump to Donald Blake out in the swamp swamps somewhere clearly hunting something he says come out you think i'm scared of you of you show yourself you miserable and then some lightning strikes him and they say i was not hiding i was hunting now get up and run and it is th it's th Frog Thor. I don't know if this character has a name, but it is Frog Thor. And then we got Lockjaw there in the background. So, uh, yeah, clearly Donald Blake is hunting these old iterations of Thor. Uh, Red Norville, whoever that was, um, let Jane Foster go, uh, going after uh, Odin just to, you know, cut the head off the snake, so to speak. And now he's out there hunting Frog Thor. Really, really cool stuff. Definitely wants me want to, like, jump back, go ahead and, uh, you know, shell out the big bucks for the uh, the Walt Simonson Thor omnibus I've had my eye on for like six, eight months or something like that. Just haven't ever uh, had the funds to, to throw out around to pick up that big old phone book of comics. But I definitely enjoyed this issue and I can't wait to see what Donny Cates has in store and Nick Klein has in store for the rest of this story arc. So guys, what did you think about this one? I know this review is a little bit late. This book came out a couple weeks ago. My apologies for that. There's too many comics these days. Sorry guys. What did you think about this one? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like I said before, do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button. It would absolutely mean a lot to me. Until next time, guys, we'll see you at the comic shop.